Hello everybody, Real Beautiful Beauty here, going to be doing a product review, going to be talking about witch hazel today. Now normally and typically I usually get the uh, Dickens witch hazel or the Thayer's witch hazel or the Humphreys witch hazel, but the store shelves were empty of all three brands. So I went ahead and reached for this, wasn't expecting much. This is the Walmart brand, Equate brand, Witch Hazel. And I must say, I was not expecting much from it, but actually really, I really do feel this. I'm really feeling it. I'm really liking this product. Used a lot of it, as you can see, that's what's left of it. Comes in a good size bottle here. It says 16 fluid ounces and it is paraben free. Okay, and it says Witch Hazel Equate Beauty. This is Equate Beauty, Walmart brand. Pore Perfecting Toner Cleanse. And this is naturally distilled. I will say this, it does have alcohol in it. However, I did not get the tremendous drying effects I typically and normally do when skincare products, especially toners and, and Witch Hazel type products, and astringents and things like that have alcohol. Usually they really strip and dry my skin. Usually they burn my face like ring of fire, you know? And I mean, sometimes I go down, down, down <laughs> like a burning ring of fire. And I mean, there's some really expensive brands that do that astringent wise. But I was very pleased so far, very happy. And like you can see, half the bottle, I'm almost done here with this good stuff now i will say this um being that i was kind of on the leery side of it having alcohol in the contents ingredients i do not use it every day so with that being said i do use it about four times a week at first i was kind of scared too you know what i mean but i do use it about four times a week and i feel it does cleanse my skin very nicely it helps remove residual makeup but also keep in mind witch hazel by no means witch hazel astringent of any kind is never a substitution for removing your makeup and what i mean by that it's never a substitution for washing your face with a non-soap cleanser or a bar soap cleanser or whatever type of cream cleanser you're using so it does not substitute or suffice for your face in the sink and the water you guys you know what i mean but i do like it really like it well this is what the bottle looks like kind of plain chain it's okay it was pretty cheap i can't remember what i paid for it but it was definitely affordable especially in comparison to the other brands okay that's what the bottle looks like. Let me just show you the back of it real quick if I can. Yeah, I did. I really liked it. I felt that it it was able to remove residual makeup. It was able to, resi uh, to remove residual creams on my face, uh, residual lotions, residual gels. It was able to freshen my face up after uh, being outside in the afternoon and things like that. So I did like it, and it did not stripped down that moisture barrier level and it did not <laughs> it didn't make my face feel raw and bad or anything like that okay so this product is for everybody it's to be used by anybody and everybody there's really no restriction on this product it does have that typical uh, witch hazel smell it fades it diminishes it goes away it's very low key so you're not left with any fragrance or perfume or smelly smelly stuff so Anybody can use it. Everybody can use it. Everybody can try it. And it's definitely affordable enough to give it a try. I love you guys. I love you beauties. I love you handsomes. Bye.